The votes are being counted in New Hampshire. Presidential candidates wait to hear who will come out on top in the state's Democratic primary election. But former Vice President Joe Biden is already looking ahead to other races. Meanwhile, President Donald Trump claims the most support in New Hampshire is going to him. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Mark. Tracy, President Trump predicts he'll have a landslide victory in New Hampshire this November, but the focus now is on the Democrats' primary race. After uncertainty filled the air at the Iowa caucuses, candidates hope for a clearer picture to come out of New Hampshire tonight. In New Hampshire, many of the votes are in. The polling stations visited by candidates. Former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg greeted by supporters early this morning. He claimed recent victory in the Iowa caucuses, but after technical difficulties cast doubt on the total vote count, so did Senator Bernie Sanders. Our campaign is off to a great start. The candidates hope clearer results will come out of New Hampshire tonight. I'm in this fight and I plan to win it. But former Vice President Joe Biden, who only said he was mildly hopeful about his chances in New Hampshire, already left for the next state. I'm going to head to South Carolina tonight, then I'm going to go to Nevada. As I've said from the beginning, we got to look at them all. Making his own visit to New Hampshire last night, President Trump predicted results in the general election. With your help on November 3rd, we are going to defeat the radical socialist Democrats. We are going to win New Hampshire in a landslide. He also criticized his opponents for supporting abortion. All Democratic candidates do, though some have provided nuanced answers when discussing it. Over the weekend, Andrew Yang said no one should be celebrating abortion. It's a tragedy to me if someone decides that they don't want to have a, a, a child. I think that celebrating children, family, like these are universal human values. And Senator Amy Klobuchar reportedly said she's in favor of trying to find common ground to bring down the number of abortions. She cited her work to promote adoption, but she also supports funding Planned Parenthood, the nation's largest abortion provider. Tracy. Okay, thank you, Mark. White House correspondent Mark Irons, thanks again.